Um, okay, so the, the walnut clove milk, all it is, walnuts, germinated, some organic raw honey, how they certify honey as organic, I don't know, but they do. Um, cloves, which cloves, friends, I love cloves because cloves are dried flowers. They're the pink, they were once pink, and when they dry, they turn a dark brown, and they're the flowers of the evergreen clove tree. Wonderful. Okay, so we're going to put cloves in with the walnuts. we got to make that clovey. You guys, cloves, wow. Cloves are such powerful medicine, super antiseptic, super antibacterial, antifungal, anti-tumorgenic, okay, anti-carcinogenic. Um, they also really help with candida. If you're someone struggling with candida, let's put more cloves in your diet, okay? Also helps speed up uh, metabolism. You get that fire in there. Okay, then we're gonna do a teaspoon of raw honey. If you're super duper vegan, like for my, um, for my super duper vegan um, audience, uh, I would do raw agave or maple syrup. I love maple syrup. Um, you know, these natural sweeteners have a lot of powerful nutrients. Mm. And that one teaspoon of raw honey is like 5,000 enzymes. Okay? For, my, for my newbies, they're gonna want a banana in this. For people that have like been eating raw for a long time, they might leave the banana out um, because I mean, bananas are hybridized, um, even though this one is organic. And, they, you know, they have sugar, but I love bananas. I find them to be very, very nourishing. Um, what else? I want to put a little bit of my medicine flower um, vanilla extract in it because this is an amazing, amazing product. All of the medicine flower food extracts are the bomb. And you can find out more about those on our site, blithraw.com. Um, so I put just a couple drops of that in there. Then I'm going to go with some water. Anytime you're mixing germinated nuts with water, that's where you get your milk. And what's really great about um, the walnut milk is that you don't strain it. Like, it, 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 it dissolves super well together, better than almonds do, actually, because I, I prefer to strain out my almonds. Okay, and then I'm just going to put a little ice to make it more fun. And hopefully it's sweet enough for you, because um, I don't make, I don't tend to make these drinks very sweet. But like maybe for some palates, they would for all of this they might use two tablespoons raw honey. But that's your choice. Shake it, shake it, shake yeah. it. Like a, it tastes like a milkshake. Do you like it? Yeah. Is it so great? And it's awesome. so easy, you guys. I mean, once you get in the habit of soaking your nuts, um, I always. Can you say that again? So I mean, once you get in the habit of soaking your nuts. Um, <laughs> and what? It tastes like Christmas. Yay! It tastes like Christmas, Ashley says. I love that. And we're on our way. We're going to get more and more into fun holiday stuff because um, the, tis the season is coming up. Um, I soak nuts and then I leave them in Sorry? the fridge. They let. <laughs> I soak my nuts. Hey, okay, okay. And um, I leave them in the fridge upside down because, um, you know, so there's, so there's no water in them and they last like this. Uh, for like two weeks in the fridge. So, you know, easy breezy recipes like this, as soon as you get in the habit,